Well, somebody told me. Uh, okay, the time that I was probably the most freaked out would be again in America. Very interesting theme running here. Um, we were in Omaha, Nebraska in about 2009, and uh, my friend Nate and I, who uh, was on tour with us, we were driving our van, went to get some coffee, and we cut up some guy at some intersection. And we noticed like a few minutes later that he was following us and I was like, oh dude, this guy's like really on our ass right now, like like almost bumper. And then he went into the other lane, so it was on the wrong side of the road, and literally drove his trailer truck, whatever you want to call it, into the side of the van, like he was trying to knock us off the road. I was like, this is pretty freaky. Fifteen minutes we're trying to lose him, like we can't lose him, he's just following us over we go. We don't want to go back to the venue in case like he was a psychopath, which he actually ended up being a psychopath, uh, because eventually he went down like a dead end, and he got out of this trailer, his truck, whatever, and he comes out with a chainsaw, and he's like, you guys are going to die right now. And I was only like 18 at the time, I was like, oh, I am, this is it, this is how I die, I die in Omaha, Nebraska, couldn't be more grim than that, and um, he was like, starts revving up the chain, so I was like, get out the, get out the, because we obviously locked the van, he's like, get out the van, get out the van. And then suddenly he stops, turns the chainsaw off, and his daughter comes up alongside and is like, come on, Dad, let's go, let's go. It's only because I'm sure if his daughter hadn't been there, he probably would have killed us. So that was pretty scary. Yeah. And that does deserve some sort of round of applause, I'll show you.